Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and push that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. We're going to be doing a lot of these underwater videos. I'm so excited to bring you today's episode, you might call it, with this Go Fish Cam. We recorded this footage right after our ladies' seminar, July 22nd. Did the seminar, went great, and then we went fishing. And I put this line out there with the Go Fish Cam on. And as you can tell by the caption, we went about 37 minutes and nothing happened. And we weren't getting any bites at all. Uh, in fact, this whole time I thought that we weren't getting any fish action. There was not even any fish <laughs> around. But as you'll be able to see here in just a minute, uh, there was a lot going on under the water that we were not even aware of. And take a look at that fish bite. We got fish bites on there with salted shrimp. And I'm pretty impressed with that. Look at the condition of those. Even after about 35, 37 minutes, we still have that salted shrimp on there. Still have the fish bites. And look to the right there. We have a little pompano. And he is tasting this thing. That was twice. Three times he pecked at it. Four times comes back five and I believe this next time nope six on the seventh try look at now he's hooked up he is going crazy all over the place and we're going to slow it down here for you in just a second but he is trying to get loose and as you can see he just popped right off of there so if you're not watching your lines you're going to miss some fish but let's slow it down here he is grabbing that bait shaking it around he is really trying to get loose. This is why you go to your lines quick when you see it getting hit. I was probably busy talking with ladies, helping them get their rigs figured out and things like that. So I wasn't really honestly paying much attention to my lines and did not even see this hookup. Here we'll see him comes past the screen. It's barely even on him at all. You can see it's like barely hooked on his, on his mouth and he just shakes it right off right here. There it is, it's gone. So, yep, you gotta always be watching your lines. And we're gonna come up here to our next, our next encounter with actually more pompano. We caught a baby pompano that day, but these look a little bigger than the ones that we were catching. And here comes our next encounter. We have another pompano. This one looks a little bigger than the last one. And he comes back. This was maybe two minutes later. And I think it looks like the same one, about the same size, or a school of pompano about that eight, three times we see coming in the picture. And here you go. If you look to the right side of the screen, we're going to have another pompano coming after that pink fish bites, pink shrimp fish bites. And if you'll notice, they're really not touching the other bait at all. Uh, I had some blue crab fish bites, also with salted shrimp, on the other line, on the other hook. And they did not seem interested in that. I haven't seen any of them eating that at all. They seemed to leave that one alone. They really wanted that pink shrimp. So here comes the next one. Kind of came in and took a look and said, nope. Maybe he's the one that got hooked up already and he did not want to do that again. And here we come to the next school that comes a few minutes later. They're still looking for that pink shrimp. And this is why it's important to find out what the fish are wanting. When you figure out what they're biting on, switch out your other hooks to that bait because that is what they are wanting that day. Super important to do that and pay attention. And we see Pompano coming right back in and biting on that pink shrimp. Looks like they're they're pecking away at the salted shrimp. So uh, I am gonna be putting out a video soon about how to make your own salted shrimp. I've tried several different methods and the way that I'm doing it now seems to attract a lot of fish. So you can be looking for that in a couple of weeks. And here I am reeling in the line. Thank you so much for watching. I love doing this underwater footage. I'm learning a ton from it. I hope that you guys are learning too. And until next time, tight lines, God bless, and we'll see ya.